looking at how to make this really cool Victor Royale sign. But before we get into any more of the video, check out Custom Cosplay, which is a really cool channel that makes lots of amazing Fortnite builds.
maps and now I gotta show you how to use the templates because maybe you get these templates and you download them and then you realize wait a second what do I do with them so that's what I'm gonna show you so here's the templates there's two pieces of paper I taped them together in the back so what's gonna happen is you're gonna go into the description and you're gonna click on the link and you're gonna down you're gonna be brought to a PDF and then you're gonna download these two pieces of paper and then you're gonna print them on your printer. And then you can tape them together so that everything lines up. And then you're gonna want to cut along the outside. And what you're gonna do with that piece, you're gonna take that piece and trace it on a piece of cardboard. Preferably double thick. I made this in double thick. If you don't know what double thick cardboard is, check out over there. Click on the video over there. Um so I did it with double thick cardboard. You just make the whole outline cut that all out. Then what you want to do is paint it all blue and a couple coats of paint just to make sure everything is all covered up and I would also paint the back because your cupboard's probably going to bend and you don't want it to be too warped so bend, paint the front and then the back until it has bent once the, both sides are dry they should bend back you can just do them one at a time like blue, let it dry um, then yellow or whatever you have left you can even do it at the end, whatever you want to make the letters, what I did is I just cut out all the letters, leaving kind of a stencil, put it over, drew it on in pencil, and then I just painted that all in by hand. You could tape it off. I don't like taping things off because my paint tends to seep under and then it just ruins it. You don't want it to do the background again, the blue, so just be careful when you're painting. You maybe could tape off the one, that's not as, as hard of a shape, but I mean still, I think just do freehand. Um, I did do, I said to do the blue and then the white. Now, the white might need two coats. I didn't do two coats because I didn't really feel like going through all that work. It was a pain. So you could, if you wanted, paint everything white. And then put on the letters. And then do the blue around the letters. So that you could have the white coat first. And have it be thicker. But it's really like... It's do you want the blue to be perfectly smooth all in one direction or the letters to be smooth. Like you can see the letters are like the brush strokes are all over the place. Well that's how the back would be if you did the white first. So it's really a preference whatever you think would look better. This is just kind of what I thought I'd do. So I think that just about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time.